Hello, uh, my name's Lane Hansen. I know you've all seen some emails from me. I'm here tonight with my kids who are gonna speak after me um, and I'm gonna read the email that I sent to you all a couple weeks ago. Hello, MMSD school board members. I consistently have to undo your damaging messaging to my white children. The message I have to give, we are not better than people who have more melanin in their skin than we do. It's simply exhausting, and yet it's nothing compared to the impact on black and brown families. I feel that it is important to make you aware of the unreported acts of racism that are regularly occurring at West High School. These are the instances that the school doesn't even bother sending the I'm sorry email to the parents about, yet they are having a devastating impact on young black people and are simultaneously sending messages to all the white people in your school that reinforce internalized white privilege and power. My daughter reported three instances in the past two weeks of white adults in your school physically assaulting black children. This is completely unacceptable. Number one, a young black boy walks into a classroom to say a quick hello to his friend. He is not in that class, but he does have a hall pass, as was mentioned earlier. The white adult male teacher actually pushes him out of the room and slams the door with the child's finger caught in the door. She told me that the young boy went to the nurse and that he has a broken finger. I guess you can look into that and see what your school nurse says. How that would go unreported as an assault is incomprehensible to me. Number two, my white daughter and another white girl walk in late from lunch. A group of black girls also walk in late. A white female teacher physically pushes the young black girls towards the office, demanding they get a hall pass, letting the white girls walk through with no issues. My daughter isn't even given a second glance. Number three, a white male teacher touches a young black girl's hair and says it looks futuristic. Really, I don't even need to explain how many ways that is completely disgusting. These are unacceptable acts of racism that are happening every day. And just in case you are doubting, she has never seen a teacher even lay one finger on a white student. I have included an article by the acclaimed author, ta Coates, that will help explain if you aren't following how this can be true. I hope you all read the article that I attached to the email. You wonder why cops make black and brown students feel unsafe? <laughs> Even white teachers think they have the right to invade the physical bodies of black and brown children. Add a gun and a badge to that, and of course you have someone who is easily able to invoke powerful terror. Step one, get cops out. They aren't protecting the real people who need protection here, the black and brown children. That isn't going to come from cops. Listen to your community, be on the right side of history, it really is that important right now.